Blessings, everyone. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, welcome, welcome on tonight. God bless you, woman of God. I don't know if y'all can hear the music. We're just coming on just a little early. Um, just to set the atmosphere. Glory to God. Can you all hear me? Blessings, blessings, blessings. Thank you so much for coming in. We just want to set the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Let me know if you can hear me, if you can hear the music. Um, glory. I greatly appreciate that. Just make a few adjustments here. Glory, glory. God bless you. If you could please invite your followers, I would greatly appreciate that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Glory, 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 Jesus. Glory, 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 Jesus. We honor you on tonight, oh God. We acknowledge you on tonight, oh God. We're here for you on tonight, oh God. We thank you for having your way on tonight, oh God. On this Periscope Live, oh God. We thank you for the launching of Daughters Talk, Lord God. We thank you, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, you're worthy, you're worthy. You can't hear, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord God. If you could just invite your followers, we're just going to soak in the presence of the Lord. Just want to make sure that our hearts are postured we're in the right place to receive on tonight what the Lord has for us. Blessings, blessings. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming in. If everyone could so kindly invite your followers, greatly appreciate it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We love you, oh God. Thank you, oh God. We magnify you, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's truly none like you, oh God. We bless your wonderful name, oh God. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. Yes, God, you're so worthy, oh God. We acknowledge you, oh God. We acknowledge you, oh God. Yes, God. Truly, you are king, you are Lord. We love you, oh God. Yes, God. We come before you just repenting of our sins, God. Anything that we've done that is sinned against you, oh God. Lord, we ask that you forgive us, oh God. We thank you that you're faithful, you're just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, oh God. And we choose this day, Lord God, to even forgive ourselves, Lord God to release ourselves, oh God, to release and forgive others, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that we can receive, Lord God. Our hearts are open. Our hearts are ready, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God, for truly having your way on tonight, oh God. Yes, God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Oh, there's truly none like you, oh God. Mm, yes, Jesus, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Yes, God. Have your way, Lord. We love you. We thank you, Lord God, for just having your way, oh God. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. And woman of God, you're more than welcome to come up at any time. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, God. 
We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. We honor you. We magnify you, oh God. We acknowledge you, oh God. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, God. Have your way, oh God. Yes, God. Glory, glory. Yes, God. Have your way, Jesus. Blessings, yes, God. Thank you. Blessings, 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 blessings. God bless you. God bless you, woman of God. Thank you. Turn this down. Father, we thank you for this night, oh God. We yes. just the praise tonight, oh God. We yes. honor you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for this day, God. Yes. We thank you for the launching of this awesome woman of God ministry, oh God. Yes. This ministry is Daughters Talk, oh God. And Father, yes. we just thank you, oh God, for your Holy Spirit. Yes. Father, for her setting the atmosphere, oh God. We thank you for the spirit of peace, oh God. We thank yes. you for tranquility on tonight. Oh, yes. Father God, we bless you tonight, oh God. We thank you that your spirit is with us and that you are upon us, oh God. We thank yes. you that you live on the inside. And God, we just take this time out to say thank you, Lord, on tonight. Yes. Oh, Father, we're coming to hear a word from the Lord. And Father, yes. we don't understand everything, oh God, as women of God, but we begin to trust your spirit, oh God, yes. and I celebrate this mighty woman of God tonight, oh God, yes. you said, oh, how pleasant it is for brethren yes. to dwell together in unity, yes. and God, we come on one accord, you said in yes. your word, oh God, that we must give honor where it's due, so God, I don't yes. take it lightly, oh God, to come on this platform, oh God, this periscope tonight, oh God, to bring a word of God for, for the body of Christ and for the daughters of Zion, yes. So Father, we thank you for this ministry. We thank you yes. for even giving us the confidence because sometimes yes. we to do what it is that you have called us to do. But you said in your word, oh God, that we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened yes. us. And you said it is so important that we must celebrate our sisters and brothers. So yes. God, we salute you, King Jesus, on tonight. Yes. We celebrate God in this woman of God. Woman of God, I just want to say I bless you and your family yes. in the name of Jesus. I don't take it lightly. And before I begin to give the word, I hear the Lord say, because of your obedience, I have opened many doors unto you. And God said, you have been overlooked, but you are a woman of wisdom. And I hear the spirit of the Lord said, I have called you to be a Proverbs 31. And God said, I've called you to be a prophetic midwife. I've called you to mother so many. I've called you for such a time like this and you have been in the back of the mountain for some times but God said this is the hour I begin to um, I, I begin to put you on display I begin to reveal my glory and I hear the spirit of the Lord saying I have called you and I've raised you up in this time because you have clean hands and God <laughs> continue to move when I tell you to move and God said you have been through some sufferings <coughs> pardon me as you begin to birth out this ministry he said you've been overlooked but I have called you and God said I have selected some prophetic midwives and some prophets to walk with you to hold the vision. He said, I put it in your belly and tonight you give birth to your ministry. And God said, this is just the beginning. You have not seen anything yet. And God said, because you trust me, God said, you didn't pick me, but it was a, a matter of you trusting the God and those who he connected. And I bless God because I've never seen you before, but I begin to pray and the spirit of the Lord gave me confirmation because I don't move unless God is moving, unless he tells me to move. And I'm honored to come and serve as a prophet of God to bring a word. And I bless you. I bless everything connected to you. Everything connected to you you win. Everything connected to you will prosper. And God said, yeah, I have put wealth in your hands and I have opened three doors for you. And God said, these doors are already open. But I begin to give you wisdom. And after you get off this periscope, God said, watch me blow your mind. God said, I've called you to launch this ministry a long time ago. You felt the birth and pains. But in this hour, I have called you. And I hear God said, I will make your name great. I have called you for such a time like this. And as I begin to bring the word, one of the things that God spoke to me, he said, the secret cry of a woman. And yes, men of God could get on because if there is men and the spirit need me to minister or prophesy, but 
but this is a woman's ministry, but men are welcome to get on because we can't tell God what to do, but God yes. has put a mother's love on the inside. And I hear the Lord say so many people, they walk around with a counterfeit mother love to prostitute the people, but God said, I've given you a mother's love. God said, you are a genuine woman. You have a genuine spirit. He said, you have the love of me. And he said, many don't know what the love of God looks like, but God said, when people begin to look at you, they see what the love of God looks like. And God said, maybe this take you because of your humility. And God said, I've given you keen eyes. I've made you sharp. You know, some people say a sharp shooter, but God said, I've made you extra sharp in the realms of the spirit and sometimes people take your meekness and your modesty for granted but God said you represent God the way you dress the way you talk the way you carry yourself and I'm sending a generation I'm, I'm raising up a remnant I'm sorry I'm raising up a remnant of daughters behind you they begin to march behind you you begin you begin to clothe them <coughs> pardon me you begin to mother them you begin to give them the love of God he said my love is in your arms and when you hug I've never hugged you I've never seen you in person but God said, when you give a hug, it's like no. the warmest hugs a person could feel. And God said, yeah, can I under the boho shot. Yeah, my spirit is upon you. And tonight, I, I, I just bless God. I salute God in you. I honor you. And God said, as you begin to do ministry, you will teach even elderly women how to demonstrate the love of God, a genuine love uh. of not a counterfeit, because I am exposing the counterfeit. I'm separating the weak from the tear. And God said, you begin to feel so much pain. And God said, there was a seed that you gave, 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 and you didn't get back. But God said, this is the hour I'm giving it back. Woo! He said, everything that the devil stole, I am giving it all back. Mm. He said, I'm giving it all back to you. And I just pray for those that y'all pray my strength tonight. Yes. Try to put a cough on me, but I bind this cough. I mean, yes. I'm sick, but I <clears throat> bind this cough in the name of Jesus. And Jeez. I just want everybody on this periscope to pray for me as I'm bringing this message. This is my third time ministering in two days. So my Jeez. body was a little tired, but I thank God tonight. I speak supernatural strength over my body and yes. I mean, are praying for me and I yes. thank you God for the holy fire and God yes. said midwives that I'm putting in your corner in this season he said the book the ministry and even the marriage ministry that you begin to birth out God said the book the marriage ministry the book the marriage ministry yes God he said and I'm using you he said I handpicked you I selected you and nobody could stop it and no demon could block it. amen Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Uh, hallelujah. Yes. And God said, I have called you to be a Proverbs 31 woman. That's what the Lord said. And I've called you to be a Esther. And there's an Anna ah. in you because you ah. have a pray mantle. And God said, I begin to unlock your mouth that you begin to pray like you have never prayed before. And sometimes the people, okay, people from the past, they try to discredit you and disqualify you. But God said, it's, it was like a group of ladies you try to connect with. But God said, it wasn't of me. And that's why I didn't allow it to work because some of them had a jealous spirit and I had to disconnect because they were going to tear you down. He said, some doors I closed. It's not that you wasn't good enough. You, um, He said, don't cast your pearls to swine. He said, it's some doors that I've closed. He said, and you you was trying to give them the love of God. He said, and some of these ladies, they had a very jealous spirit. And God said, I shut some doors and I've opened new doors. He said, I've proven myself unto you. And he said, some people will see you and not like you because you possess meekness and modesty and humility. And God said, those that have a prideful spirit, they will see you and get irritated. Like when the witches uh. have they see me, they can't stand me because they understand when you step in a room and we step in a room, there's a distinction. And when you step in a room, pride is exposed. Oh God, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's all that he for now. That was your prophetic word, woman of God. I'm honored. And I'm going to take my time tonight. Um, and the title that God gave me, I will be coming from the book of Esther. Pleasant good evening, everyone. I bring you greetings of peace in the mighty name of Jesus. And thank you for tuning in. And we just bless God. And the title that God gave me tonight is the title that God gave me for the daughters, um, the daughters of the king tonight is um, he said, woman of God. That's what he spoke to me. He said, woman of God. And I said, yes, father. And what he gave me is what you did in secret was recorded. That's the mm -hmm. title for the women of God. What you did in secret was recorded. And I said, yes, God, I'm going to say it again because I wanted to hit your spirit. Women of God, this is to every woman of God 
on this periscope tonight. God said, woman of God, what you did in secret was recorded. And the subtitle is, now it's time to be rewarded, women of God. <laughs> I say, God, you're awesome. The title is, women of God, what you did in secret was recorded. Subtitle, now it's time to be rewarded. And I said, yes, God. And as I begin to prepare this message, the Spirit of the Lord dealt with me as a woman to another woman and women of God. And God said, every woman struggle with a secret cry. Every woman under the sound of my voice, at some point in your life, you had struggled with a secret cry. God bless you, woman of God. And God said, every woman of God, whether it was in the past, the present, or even the Okay. We were designed to care for men or the girls. We are the um, you know, we carry the baby and we have the womb, and we understand that the men are the seed, the men carry the seed. And God began to deal with me. He said, I have made women different the way that I've made men. And sometimes as women, we begin to think through our emotions and God is really dealing with me to bring this word tonight as women of God we must bind our emotions to the will of God because yes. if we don't bind our emotions to the will of God we will not possess the things that God has spoken over our lives so yeah. I, I, I begin to say well God help me he said what you did in secret was recorded and the reason why some of us have, most of us, I'm sorry, we all have a secret cry because, and this secret cry tonight is a cry from when you have done good and been overlooked or been mistreated. This is not, this is what he gave me. And I said, yes, God, he said, all of us on this periscope, there was a time in your life that you did something good and somebody else got the credit or you got overlooked. And God is telling me to tell the women of God what you did in secret for me, every good deed that you did, it is recorded. And God said, your name is recorded in heaven. The angels begin to take accurate record. And as women of God, sometimes when we have done good and did a whole lot to the kingdom and blessed so many people and nurtured and so forth. Sometimes we just want to, you did well, you know, not that we want praises, but sometimes it's good if somebody say, good job. You just want to be encouraged. You did something to save somebody or you bless somebody and, and, and you're not doing it to be seen. Cause I'm not speaking about that. I'm talking about doing some good deeds. It's like somebody started a charity and you gave them the money and so many things and they yeah. act like they did it all and they didn't give on to where it's due. So what God begins to deal with me, he said, Adana, every woman have a secret cry where they have been overlooked or been mistreated or mishandled. Come on, somebody. Yes. And I said, OK, God. And God said to me, he said, tell my daughters. And I took my time. God is saying it's time to stop crying and take action and go on a three day fast. We're coming from the book of Esther and God dealt with me as women of God. We all have emotions and sometimes we, we all, those who have a, a, a cycle every month before your cycle come, you begin to have those hormones where your emotions, some people say PMS and for some older ladies, they have PMSs or what have you, different situation. And God really dealt with me about women tonight and our emotions. Sometimes our emotions could get us in trouble. Sometimes our emotions could allow us to miss what God is saying for the present time. And you could be stuck in the past and God is speaking a new word, but because of emotions we're up and down. But tonight God is saying we have to come to a place that we bind our emotions. My emotions must come into agreement and your emotions must come into agreement with the will of God and God said in order for us to see breakthrough we must bind our emotions you know Beyonce had this song back in the day it's just emotions taking me over but I come to tell you if our emotions take us over we could bust out wide open if our emotions take us over 
And God is saying, these emotions that he has given us, it is not for us, but it's for us to bind it to the word of God. So tonight, I challenge you to put somebody, put it up there. Thank you. I submit my emotions to you, Lord. So God began to speak to me. And God is saying tonight, it is time to stop crying and take action by going on a three-day fast. And I know I heard God. And God is saying for the women of God, it's, it, you have been crying about a specific thing. And God said, okay, I've seen your good where you've been overlooked, misunderstood, or what have you. But now it's time to take action. God deals with the number three. If you look throughout the Bible, God deals with the number three a lot. He, the number three is, is, is in the Bible a lot. I don't know how many times, but you look at Saul, you look at Jesus three days. The number three represents the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And it's a reason why God is calling every woman on this periscope. He will tell you which three days. I heard the Lord. He said, no one is exempt. He's calling every woman. This You didn't get on this periscope by coincidence. There's a specific thing you've been crying for. And God says, stop crying and take action. He said, I My want God. you to go on a tree day fast. I will tell you what day. I will tell you what to do. For some, you would go from six to six. <clears throat> For some, you would go from 10 to two. For some, you would go from five to three. And some, you would go three days, no food, no water. For some, you would go three days, liquids. For some, you would go three days, just a drip of a, a teaspoon of honey. I heard the Lord. I heard him. This, this is prophetic instructions. And one of the things that the Lord dealt with me, he said, Adana, when you speak, there will be manifestation. But the manifestation only come if we bind our emotions and we partner in and we come to a place that we're going to partner in with what God's saying. When you think about a woman giving birth to a baby, that woman begins to feel pain, but she's not going to close her legs. Why? Because she was carrying that baby for nine months. She's not going to close her leg when the doctors and the midwives are saying push. And God is saying he wants each and every one of us to go on a three-day fast because you need to see results. You and I need to see manifestation. I'm talking about a fast that God is going to speak to you and that God is going to bless you and you're going to see manifestation. God yes. said to me, so many people think you have to fast a long time. Sometimes God will use us to fast a long time. And I get that. But God, when we really study the scripture, do you mean to tell me that God allowed Saul to transform to Paul in three days. He lost his sight. When you really study the word, I'm not talking about what you think. God spoke to me. He said, Adana, so many people are saying, oh, it, 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 you have to be a longer time and so forth. And it takes more time. But God really dealt with me. He said, if my daughters go on a three day fast and they say, for God, I live. I die, you will see manifestation. God really dealt with me. He said, three days of fasting. My daughters all have a secret cry. For some, your secret cry might be insecurity. Your secret cry might be fear. Your secret cry might be your marriage. Your secret cry might be a child in jail. Your secret cry might be infirmity. I don't know what your secret cry is, but God said, when you go on these three-day fasts, I will give you. When you come out of it, for some, you're going to go into it with your emotions has been up and down. When you come out, you will never be the same. For some, you may be healed right away, but God wants to deal with the emotion and God wants to manifest some things. You know, you've been praying and you believe God, but then you start vasculating. But God said, if we go on a three-day fast and we say, God, I want the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost to take over how you want me to fast, what you want me to do, and really cut out the distractions, you will see manifestation in your life. God told me, Adana, I am moving quickly. I am moving quickly. And we begin to study others and say, oh, it's going to take some time. But listen to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying tonight. I am going to blow on that issue. I am moving on your behalf. I'm telling you by Sunday, Sunday, you will begin to inbox me and the woman of God. If you pick it up and you start, I'm telling you for some, you will see manifestation before the fast is over. For some, it will be on the last day. For some, it will be in 24 hours. And I hear the spirit of the Lord say, my daughters has been crying too much. Enough is enough. And I have to shut some things down. He said, I have to shut some things down. But are you willing to obey? And I said, yes, God. And God really dealt with me. He said, Adana, when my daughters go on a three-day fast, no spirit can interrupt. I am speaking as the Holy Ghost and tonight.
anybody that know me, I'm a little I'm bringing it really slow tonight because there's such a peace upon me and I know what God said he's been speaking to me I've been crying out for two hours I've been resting in the presence and I heard God so clear I have my message but then God gave me a different way to bring it so I, it's just a peace on me tonight because I heard him and I know that I know I didn't come in warfare mode tonight I came to educate you tonight I didn't come to war against spirits tonight I came with the word of God tonight I came to bring you simple instructions and God gave prophetess Euphemia, my elder sister, these three words on the prayer line. He gave a strength, strategy, and breakthrough. But this is what <laughs> God gave me, which is the same thing. As I begin to write this message, Daddy God said to me, He said, Adana, when my daughters take it upon themselves to do that three day fast, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost will show up. Nothing will interrupt it. You don't even have to war. You just gotta fast. These fasts and you will also be resting. And God said, with this fast, I'm, this is what he gave me for tonight, which is similar to what prophetess Euphemia said. God gave me these three words. He said, when my daughters go on this fast, I will give you supernatural strength. I want you all to write that. Somebody please write it up on the screen. Supernatural strength for the three-day fasting. So for the first day on your fast, you're going to ask God for supernatural strength. He gave me three points for the three-day fast. Supernatural strength. Yes, God. For the second day of your fast, God is going to give you strategy. Come on, somebody. Point number two, strategy. And I said, yes, God. First day of the fast, supernatural strength. Second day of the fast, strategy. The strategy, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I have an accent. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And the third day of the fast is breakthrough, which is what the Lord gave me. I, I, I mean, favor, favor slash breakthrough, because it's similar to what he gave prophet Euphemia. So the first day, I want to go very slow because I can go fast. The first day is supernatural strength. As you start your fast, you're going to ask God to give you supernatural strength. The second day of your fasting, God is going to give you strategy. The third day of your fast, God is going to give you favor and breakthrough. But in order to get the favor, you got to get strategy. And before you get the strategy, you need supernatural strength. Uh, and that's what he gave me. And I said, yes, God. Now, we never want to bring a word and not have the message. But God is so good that he gave me that. And when I begin to look at the message that he gave me from the book of Esther, it all made sense. And Esther chapter two, I believe, Mordecai, which is Esther's uncle, I'm just going to give a brief summary. Mordecai was Esther's cousin, and Esther was an orphan. Her name was Hadassah, Hadassah slash Esther, and her, she had no parents. She was a cousin of Mordecai, and Mordecai, I would say, adopted her and took her in as a daughter and began to raise her and so forth. And Esther was a very good young lady. Very, The Bible described her as very beautiful, nice young lady. And and, and, and Mordecai, he worked um, at, at, at the king's gate and so forth. And Mordecai overheard a conversation with um with two of the guards that was guarding the king's private um room or what have you where the king stayed and they was planning to kill the king and 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 Mordecai he told Esther you know the daughter that he was raising so Esther gave this word to the king but I'm gonna go to Esther four you know um Esther chapter four verse sixteen to seventeen Esther told Mordecai to gather all the Jews of Susa. And fast for me, do not eat or drink for three days or night. And the maids, the people that was taking care of her, they would come on the fast with her. Because Mort, um, um, Haman, he was one of the king's right-hand men. He wanted to kill all of the Jews. So he, Mordecai, which is Esther's uncle, he, he begins to get a little bit nervous. And, you know, we understand that Vashti was overthrown and so forth. And, and Esther wound up taking her place. But what I, I don't want to get into all of that because I want to stick into what God said. But one of the things that stood out to me, because we're talking about this three day fast and I, I can go all over, but God gave me specific instructions and I just want to be obedient. You know, Esther and her family, the Jews, they were getting ready to be killed, to be assassinated, to be annihilated or what have you. And Mordecai, her uncle, he heard about this and he told Esther, mind you, Esther was preparing herself, you know, the 12 months in the oil and so forth to be with the king. 
And Mordecai, he told Esther what was going on. But our dear sister Esther, the Queen Esther, and God is saying tonight, I don't want my daughters to cry. I want the Queen and you to come forth tonight. I want mm -hmm. you to write on the screen, the Queen shall come forth tonight. Every woman on the scope, you are a Queen. And God is saying, we must have the mindset of Esther. When Mordecai sends a message to Esther that the Jews were getting ready to be killed, he was talking, you know, from what was the creed and so forth. The Jews are getting ready to be killed. And are you sure about being the queen and so forth and all of this stuff? But Esther is like, listen here, uncle, father, what have you. I respect you. But at this point, I'm already in the palace. The queen on the inside, the spirit of God rose up in Esther. And Bible lets us know that Esther was already in the place um, where they had the the preparing her with the oils and so forth and have you and esther the queen rose up on the inside and you know and god is saying there, there comes a time that we have to grow up you know we can be a little bit girly girly and that's good and all but there comes a time you have to be a woman it's like a mother and her children you might not be a natural fighter for me and some of us on this scope we were fighters we fought and thank god for deliverance but some women on this line you are not a fighter you're not allowed to talk you just calm well spoken relaxed and what have you but there comes a time if somebody's coming in your house trying to kill your children you're not going to be calm you, you're going to find a boldness the fierce the the the, the lioness on the inside, you know, the lioness, because remember, we came from the line of the tribe of Judah. So the lioness on the inside is going to rise up if somebody came and tried to kill your people. So the lioness, the queenship rose up in Esther where she said, hold up wait a minute, you're not going to kill my people and kill me. I'm already in the king's court. I'm going to use what I got. And I respect Esther because at that time, and let's be real, for sometimes when difficult situations start happening, manifesting we can cry we can get shaken up a little bit but god is saying time out for crying it is time to take actions the enemy has tormented us for too long all my sisters all the queens on this scope tonight and god is saying for my sisters it's time that we have to come to a place where we say enough is enough i'm not playing with you i'm gonna shut it down through the spiritual realm bible lets us know that esther didn't get nasty with haman she didn't carry on she was very humble she was very respectable she was a good young lady to her, a decent child, and even going into king's court and being taken care of by those that were taken, it's a special name, I can't remember, taken care of her. She honored leadership. She respect them. And what I want to say is when you are a queen and the lion is sometimes you got to take the low route and make those, those strange lines, those demonic lines roar. Because when you know, and this is what the Lord told me, he said, when you know that you win the battle, you don't have to fight in the flesh. If you know that God is with you and you are a queen of the most high God, sometimes you got to hold your peace. You got to fight. And I remember God gave me this word years ago. I was at Prophetess Erica's house. She was having some prayer. He said, tears and tongues, bruise your knees, tears and tongues. And I'm talking about tears of blessing God, tears of thank you, God, not tears of, oh, why me? I'm scared. Don't kill my people. Esther had to come to a place. It's either going to be me or you. And she knew that she couldn't beat Haman. She knew that she understood that she couldn't go before the king so what queen esther had to do she said let's take it in a fast Queen Esther said, let's take it to a fast. And that's how Esther fought that fight. And God is saying, we've been in a battle for too long. And, and people's like, is this a woman or is this a girl? And God is saying, it's time out for the little girl. It's time for the woman, the queen to rise up. Because the queen, when you think about a queen, a queen don't argue with anybody. A queen does not argue with anybody. She don't have to prove herself to nobody. And God is saying time out for trying to prove to people who you are. And I hear hey. you say some of you on the scope, I told you to dress a certain way. I told you to do things a certain way. And you didn't obey me because you didn't want others to think who she thinks she is. But the devil is a liar. Tonight, the queen in you shall come forth. It's it, the queen and you shall come forth tonight in the name of Jesus. This message is only for queens. The queens and you shall come forth tonight. And Bible lets us know that Esther took it to a fast and, 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 and um, Esther sent message to Mordecai, gather all the Jews, do me a favor. And I'm going to do the same thing with the ladies that's taking care of me. We're going to fast, no food, no water. God is saying, I don't want you crying about that thing no more. Take it to a fast. And when you take it to a fast, God has to show up because he said supernatural strength, strategy, favor, breakthrough. 
and Esther first thing was taking it to a fast. The reason why she went on a fast for three days, the first day she needed the supernatural strength of God. Remember, she's a Jew. She's in the king's palace. At any time, she could have been killed, you know, because she was hiding her background and her culture, what have you. So she said, God, you got me in this situation. I listen to leadership. I honor the word that came to my uncle. But now my uncle can't even help me. But I need your supernatural strength, daddy, God. See, God is our daddy. And I thank God for the Mordecai that's in each and every one of our lives. But it comes a time that the Mordecai can't help you. And Esther knew that she needed strength. So she said, God, I'm going to go on a fast. And then she says, she says, gather the people fast. Um, don't eat because she began to starve her flesh. My sister, Bob, this Erica said, whatever you starve is going to die. Um, Esther understood. She understood in order for me to get this breakthrough, I have to starve my flesh. I have to not eat or drink. I have to starve this flesh so it can die because if this flesh is living, it's going to come against my breakthrough. This is why yeah. we go on a fast because the fast is to starve the flesh. My dear sister, prophetess Erica say, when you starve something, it has to die. So um, Esther, I'm sorry, I'm about to say Erica. Esther, Esther understood. I got to go on a fast. The first day I need supernatural strength. I got to start this flesh because this flesh cannot rise up on these three days because this is a life and death situation. Think about it. When a woman going to make, oh, I'm Dalek. When a woman going to have a baby, when a woman going to make their baby and oh, you're going to take a surgery, they tell you don't eat or drink nothing. Come on, somebody. They tell you, don't eat or drink nothing. I had a procedure before. And the doctors told me, don't eat or drink anything. Because why? It, it is critical to your health. So Esther said, listen, listen, listen. She had to talk. I believe my sister Esther, Queen Esther, she had to talk to herself. She said, flesh, you're not going to get in the way of what I'm trying to have. I, you're not going to get in the way of what God getting ready to do for me and my people. So I got to kill you right now. I got to kill you till you die. I can't eat or drink. Come on. This is a heavy word tonight. I can't yeah. eat or drink nothing because what God getting ready to do through me is to save my generation. So those 72 hours don't mean nothing to me because when I yeah. get off those 72 hours, life will not be the same. So our dear sister, Queen Esther, she realized I had to kill this flesh. Some of us, we don't know how to kill the flesh. And if we don't kill the flesh, we won't get breakthrough. Because that was a life and death situation. This is what she said. She said, fast for three days. Do not eat or drink. And I said, yes, God. And she said, and I will do the same. And even though it's against the law, I will go see the king. The reason why she had to starve the flesh because she did not need emotion speaking. I pray y'all enjoy this word because I'm enjoying it myself. God is speaking. The reason why she took that three day fast, no food or water. She was counting on the power of the Holy Ghost, the greater one that lived on the inside. She said it's against the law, but I know if I got some food in my belly, my flesh is going to say, don't go see the king, girl, you're going to die. But when you didn't eat or drink nothing, all you can hear is God. <sighs> Esther said, I got to silence every other voice. Let every other voice be dead. I got to stop my flesh. And when God was giving me this message, I said, oh, God, you're so good. You know, you hear people mm -hmm. teach the message of Esther in so many ways. But he gave me three different sermons to bring for Esther. And I said, God, Esther said, I got to kill this flesh. And God is saying, I'm calling you to a three-day fast. If you don't kill that flesh, you ain't going to get breakthrough. We see great men and women of God. You know why you built out this ministry, woman of God? My dear sister, because you had to kill your flesh. I knew you had to warfare to even get this thing up and running. You know, I have a ministry. I understand. I've launched me on in two ministries, the prayer line now, power school. And you have to kill that flesh. You got to do things that others ain't willing to do because God made you the head of this ministry. So when others get to run and have a good time and act up and judge and criticize, you have to kill your flesh and fast. They come and go, they do whatever, but you still got to be good. Being a leader of a ministry is not easy. And I salute the God in you, woman of God. <laughs> Esther understood I have to kill my flesh because I can't hear no other voice. She had such influence. Even the ladies that was with her began to fast. I said, my God, yes. 
Some things don't come up, but through prayer and fasting. So Esther understood the greater one live on the inside and he's going to allow me to walk through this. So she said, even though I'm just pondering for a minute, even though it's against the law, I will go see the king. And then she begins to say, if I die, I must die. She mm. had come to a place that my flesh mm -hmm. is already dead. And, yeah. and, 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 and it's a scripture, I don't know where it is, it says, to gain your life is to lose it. So our mm -hmm. dear Queen Esther, she understood, listen, they're planning to kill me anyway. So if I should die so my people could be free, it's okay. See, Esther had the heart in this text right here. We can compare Esther's spirit to the spirit of Jesus Christ. Because John 3, 16 lets us know. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus died and Esther had the spirit of Jesus Christ. So she was willing to die for her people. Come on, somebody. She's not yeah. Jesus, but the spirit of God, she was mimicking what Jesus did, was willing to do it. And then the Bible lets us know, Mordecai went away and he followed the instructions. And I love the fact that the Bible lets us know that even though Mordecai was the elder, he honored Esther, even though she was younger. It's one thing to, 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 to have somebody in your life and then they don't honor you. But Mordecai honored because he realized, wow, my daughter ain't the same. He understood. And I said, wow. And in Esther chapter five, verse one to seven, I'm just paraphrasing for the time, you know, Bible lets us know that on Esther's third day, so the first day, Esther, she needed supernatural strength. The second day, I believe God gave a strategy. And the reason why I'm saying this is because it connects with the third day of her fasting. So Esther, on the third day of her fasting, Bible lets us know on her third day of fasting, she put on her royal robes and entered the inner courts of the palace across from where the king's hall. So the first day she got the supernatural strength, the strength of God, her flesh died. I believe when you don't eat in six, five hours, in six hours, your flesh begins to die. So she had the supernatural strength, which gave my dear queen sister Esther confidence. She had the supernatural strength, which gave her confidence to believe in God and to hear God and, and blank out those negative emotions. And she was able to partner in with the strategy of God. The strategy of God was to put your royal robes on. Yes. She understood that I had to take a chance. So she put her royal robes on and entered the inner courts. And this is where God is saying he wants the little girl to die. Because so many of us, we want God to move for us. But that jump that may come across as life and death, we're not willing to do it. We want to cry. But God is saying, no, 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 no. I don't want you to cry anymore. I want you to grow up, put the fat, um, grow up and, and begin to put yourself in fasting. And in the fasting, I give you supernatural strength. I give you strategy. So day number two, God gave Queen Esther strategy. So day number three, number three, she was able to put her royal robes on. Remember, there's a hit out there to kill them. She's a Jew, you know. You can't go before the king. But this is when God said he breaks policies and procedure. So we want to get away from voices that would tell you, don't do that. That's against the law. I know when God blessed me with my car, it broke policies and procedure. So many things when God healed my leg. It's so many things that God break policy and procedure. So God used this story, Esther, to show us, listen to me. Do not listen to other people because people will talk you out of your blessings. They will talk you out of your breakthrough, out of your assignment and saving a nation. Esther put her royal robes on, entered royal robes on and entered the inner courts of the palace across from the king's hall. The king was sitting on his royal throne facing the entrance where he saw Queen Esther Remember, supernatural strength. Now here comes tragedy. Now what was what did God say for the third day? Favor, breakthrough. Now she's on the last day of her fast. So here comes favor, which is the breakthrough. So the king saw Queen Esther standing there in the inner court. He welcomed her with the gold scepter. This is not Adana's word. This is the word of God. Then he asked her, what do you want, Queen Esther? What is your request? I will give it to you even if it's half the kingdom. And God is saying, my daughters, remember, we're going to go back to the, I'm um, sorry, 
we're going to go back to, we're going to go back a quick minute to what God said to Tyler for tonight. What you mm -hmm. did in secret was recorded. So Esther fasted for those three days in secret. So now this is the title. What you did in secret was recorded. Now, now, and, and now we go to the subtitle. Now it's time to be rewarded. Remember, she did the fast. This is the last day. So now it's time to be rewarded. And God is saying, tell my daughters, whatever you want, I own this world. This is if the earthly king, I don't know how to pronounce his name, the king. The king said to Esther, now, on the third day of her fasting, the king said, what is your request? And God is asking me to ask you tonight, what is your request? Now, if the king, a person, could yeah. tell Esther, what is your request? The king is asking Esther, what is your request? Then he begins to say, um, he said, what is your request? Then he asked, so what is your request, queen? what is your request, Queen Esther? He said, I will give it to you even if it's half the kingdom. He didn't even marry Esther yet, but he's willing to give her half the kingdom. And God is saying, whatever you want in my name, that's going to give me glory. I will give it to you. If you ask God for 20 billion, because you know you want to do a mega ministry and it's in the will of God, he will grant it to you. But you would have people telling you, girl, you can't even afford an apartment. And God is saying, what is your request? I don't want to hear no more. Will this person say and that person say, what is God saying? What is the King of Kings saying? This is this story. We got to read this thing in our own time. God yes. gave Esther favor. Esther was an orphan. Esther was a Jew. She shouldn't have been selected. She was an outcast. She was looked at the least. And then the king asked her, what no is your request? God is saying, it is time for us to grow up and let the queen rise in you and know what you want in this life. Know what you want from God. And when I begin to read this message, I said, God, you're good. You're good. So the queen asked Esther, what is your request? And this is what Esther said. Esther said, I'm sorry. Now, remember, God said, supernatural strength, strategy, breakthrough, favor. So before she get the breakthrough, she had favor. The favor was the king favoring her, giving her the gold scepter. She stepped out, took a risk. You know, she stepped out on the faith of God. So the king gave her favor. And in that favor, that's how the breakthrough come. Now, this is not a Donna's word. This is the word of God. So... Yeah. The king asked her, what do you want? So now the queen begins to speak on the in, from the inside. She says to the king, um, Esther says to the king, and, and I love the way she speaks to the king. And this is how those that desire a husband, we have to learn how to speak to men. And we have to be yes. And I honor the modesty that you possess, woman of God, the humility. You know, one of the things I can get, a, I don't want to say aggressive, the lioness could come out. But when I'm not ministering, I'm a calm person, you know, and we have to have that balance. I love the way that mm -hmm. Esther speaks to the king. Yeah. The Bible lets us know Esther replies, if it pleases you, let the king and Haman come today to a banquet I have prepared. She said, if she didn't come across demanding, she came across very modest. I think she was saying, king, if it pleases you, her tone came all the way down. See, this is when the Bible say a soft voice turns away right. This is when the Bible say he raised up the humble. A man don't want a woman acting like you the man and aggressive. And I had to be purged and ask God to deliver me from anything. Because the way Esther spoke to the king, she, 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 said, she said, if she didn't demand it because the king already told her what you want. What is your request? I'm sorry. You know, but she walked in so much humility. She said, if it pleases the king. And Haman yeah. come today to a banquet. So she had favor for the breakthrough. The king agreed. And he, all, he, he told the other officials to get Haman. And they went, you know, to the, 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 the dinner that she had. That was the first night. And I said, yes, God. And this is when God said, this is when God, um, God said to me, he said, now it's time to be rewarded. This is breakthrough. Now we on breakthrough. Day number three. So day number three of the fast. She got favor to meet with the king. You know you're not you usually really meet with the king now for now. But she had favor, right? Met with the king. And here comes the manifestation of the breakthrough. I told you it was a simple message but a good word from the Lord. And 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 she the king came. That was that night. He granted her, he honored her request. I'm sorry. And in Esther chapter 6 and verse 1 to 3, the Bible lets us know that. 
the king had some trouble sleeping. He ordered an attendant to bring the book of the historic records. He discovered an account how Mordecai had exposed the plot of the two eunuchs guard who was trying to assassinate that king. So this is when God began to speak to us. What you did in secret was recorded. And now you're getting ready to be rewarded. So the king now, he's tussling and turning because he went out to the first banquet with Esther. And then that night he's tussling and turning. And this is when I bless God for prophetess RT. She always tell me the angels take accurate record and we have credits in heaven. I got this from my dear sister. God bless mm -hmm. prophetess RT. And yes. sometimes we are like, God, did you see me? God, did you hear me? And we are crying. And God said, daughters, I don't want you crying no more. It is time to take actions because I'm giving you supernatural strength and strategy. And with that strategy, I'm giving you favor. Now we're going to bring it down to breakthrough. And Esther had the opportunity to meet with the king in humility. And I asked God that I will always be humble. I don't want to be prideful. I want to be meek as a woman of God. I don't want to be an aggressive woman. I ask God to deliver me. And I ask that every woman on this periscope, I hear God, that we have to be humble, no matter how big God takes us, because the man is the head. Even though the king had some ways to him, because I'm teaching another message down the road about the king, we still have to be humble. And I said, Lord, keep me humble and show me when I'm getting out of humility. I, I said, yes, Lord. So, so, so here comes breakthrough. And I said, yes, God. So the king is tussling and turning. He cannot sleep. He's restless. Let's say he have in sleep insomnia, you know, and, and God, I believe it's God. It goes back to taking accurate records because what Esther and Mordecai, Mordecai told Esther, you know, and she told it saved the king's life. See, it's not good to be anxious because it was an appointed time for the king to notice because God allow Vashti to not be the one. Vashti was not bad, but she wasn't the one, but it's all in God's timing. And sometimes we want people to know, oh, I've been mistreated, I've been mishandled, but sometimes you have to learn to eat it. Some of the things that I've been through, I am now speaking it out after 10 years. I am now being vindicated. You know, Esther and Mordecai, um, Esther, Mordecai gave Esther the message. Esther gave the message. But guess what? When when the message was given um, from Esther, to Mordecai to Esther, and Esther to the eunuchs, you know, um, he, he wasn't honored for it. It seemed like he was overlooked. And we were compared to when Joseph was in jail and he interpreted the dream and the man came out and forgot about him. Remember Joseph when he interpreted the dream? So God is saying sometimes we think, okay, it's time to be honored and rewarded, but it's not the time. It was done in secret, but there's a point in time. So here comes the appointed time. When is the appointed time? You will have breakthrough and nothing could stop it. But if it's not the appointed time, you will not get breakthrough. God has an appointed time for us to have breakthrough. And I say, yes, God. So the king was tussling and turning. I'm, 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 I'm tussling and turning. I'm sorry. Tussling and turning. And, and, and God allowed the king to know that Mordecai was the one that exposed what had happened, you know, and this night he's tussling. Now the next day he's getting ready to meet with um, Esther again. And the king asks, what was Mordecai's reward? The official said he was not rewarded anything. So now whatever trap the enemy have laid out for us, I'm going to speak a little bit now about Mordecai. We understand that Haman was trying to kill Mordecai because Mordecai wouldn't submit to their God or what have you and so forth. But in the midst of his God is then it's not for the men, for the women, because men might watch the scope. God is then, you know, what you do in secret, it is recorded and you will be mm -hmm. rewarded. Haman, what he did, he spoke to his niece in secret. He took um, his daughter in secret and she honored it. And they went to the officials and God really dealt with me. He says, so many women of God, we feel like we're overlooked. Like, God, do you see me? But God is saying, if you trust me, you're not going to ask me that. I see you. I created you before you was in your mother's womb. I knew you. And, and, and God is saying, Bible lets us know that Esther and Mordecai was rewarded. And I'm going to go to Esther chapter seven, verse two. The king says, tell me what you want, Queen Esther. You know, this is at the second banquet, you know, and let me back it up a minute. God is so good. The traps that Haman set out for Mordecai, 
God turned that situation around where the king was asking more Haman, what you think I should do for somebody that deserved to be honored? Haman thinking that it was him, not knowing that he was blessing the man that he was trying to curse. So he said, give him the best robe, give him this, give him that in the third, but not knowing it wasn't for him. But God is saying that what Esther and Haman, Mordecai did in secret, here comes the hour of being rewarded because of the three day fast. Here comes the day of breakthrough. And I come to speak prophetically now. There, there is a day of your manifestation. There is a day of your breakthrough. Yes, there's a setup. And God is saying, I'm telling you in these next three days, if you could jump on a fast tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I'm telling you, let God direct you what you say. It's a setup to be blessed. I'm telling you, God is an anointing that's moving tonight. And I heard the word of the Lord. And here comes the time to be rewarded. Remember, supernatural strength, strategy, and breakthrough. Here comes the breakthrough as we bring it home. And 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 and, and Bible lets us know in, in, in Esther chapter seven, the verse two. I'm going to start from two. The queen tells Esther, "What do you want, Queen Esther? What is your request?" I will give it to you, even if it's half the kingdom. He repeats it again. And God is saying, what is your request? And one of the things I want to say, yes, Lord, and I have to repent. God asks us, what is our request? And he said, this is what I'm going to give you. And sometimes when God tells us what going to grant us our uh, request, and he said, the doors are open, we begin to doubt and have unbelief. Uh, Esther didn't doubt anything. And I asked God to deliver you and I, those that struggle with the spirit of fear because it came upon us along the way from trauma and different reasons that we will not doubt. The king asked Esther, what was her request? Esther did not basculate. And there's some things that you have asked God, but because you didn't see it right away, we begin to basculate. We begin to doubt. But I challenge you, as the Lord said, to go on the three-day fast. And this fast is to also break the spirit of doubt and fear. Mm -hmm. So Esther, she did not basculate. She didn't say coulda, woulda, shoulda, made baby I don't know she went into fasting and she was moving tonight I was praying and the Lord said Adana I am your Lord and I begin to say yes Lord and he said walk behind me don't listen to no other person but me listen to me because if you listen to somebody they still gotta come through me I'm not saying don't listen to the God and people, but we have to listen to God first. Esther did not have nobody to tell her what to do. The Holy Ghost told Esther to go on that three-day fast. And God is saying, he is leading the way. And I begin to cry and I say, God, where you lead me, I will follow. No more I'm going to yeah. ask this person, ask that person. We break that spirit in the name of Jesus, that double-mindedness. We all guilty of experiencing. Yeah. And today I come to tell you what your request was that God partnering with your request. You're going to see manifestation. But God said, you have to believe me. Sometimes we say we believe, but we really don't believe. Yeah. We really don't believe because we've been let down before and we've been distracted. But I challenge you to take a three-day fast. And when you do that fast, you you want to inbox Prophet Sadana. You're going to inbox this awesome woman of God. I'm telling you, Jesus is Lord. And I heard God so clear. I heard God. I heard God. I heard God. I heard God. I heard God said, tell my daughters what is their request because I am going to grant it. The request that's in my will is some things you've been crying and God says, stop the crying. He says, stop the crying. I'm going to wipe your tears and I want to show you that I'm going to manifest this thing. I said, God, if you're going to use me as your prophet, I can't tell you what to do. But when I speak a word and I know it's you, let there be manifestation. I said, God, I want to be a right now prophet. I don't know if that was the right English. I said, but God, when you give me a word, I, I seen you did it. But I'm talking about in my life. I seen him did it for others. But I said, God, in some areas, I need you to manifest this thing to help my faith for my life, not for the people, because I know what God can do through me and all the other ministers on this night. But sometimes you need the for your own life. And God said, tonight, I will allow things to manifest everybody that got on this scope. You're going to text that there was manifestation. You're going to text that there 
is manifestation taking place. For some, it's going to take place tonight. God is doing yeah. something tonight. He's doing something tomorrow. He's doing something on Sunday. He's doing something on Monday. And for some, you're going to get it before the month is. And I don't know what three days you're going to fast. But I'm telling you, this is not the hour to cry. And I say, yes, God. And the king asks Esther. The king asks Esther. The king asks Esther, what is your request? I will give it to you, even if it's half the kingdom. Verse number three, Queen Esther replied, I have found favor with the king. And if it pleases the king to grant my request, I ask that my life and the lives of my people be spared. God gave Esther favor that her life and her people life was spared. Some of you may have some situation. You're like, God, I can't go this way another day. I feel like I'm going to die. And God said, all I want you to do is believe me. Do what I tell you to do. It's not what you think, but do this fast and you're going to see manifestation. One of my sisters says she wonder what Esther did to get breakthrough. Tonight I give you the secret because God gave it to me. Mm -hmm. He gave it through prophetess Euphemia first, but then he gave it to me in a different way. The secret to breakthrough is supernatural strength, strategy, and favor for breakthrough. Those three words for those three days. It's just that simple. And God gave Esther favor. There was a manifestation from the pit to the palace. That was the manifestation. Marry the king, you know. And verse number four says, for my people and I have been sold to those who would kill, slaughter, and annihilate us. If we had merely been sold as slave, I could remain quiet. For that I will be true as a matter to warrant disturbing the king. Verse 5. Who would do such a thing? The king demanded. Who would be so presumptuous as to touch you? Verse 6. Esther replied, the wicked Haman is our adversary and our enemy. And God is saying, I don't know who your enemy is tonight. But some of us, you have to confront the enemy and whoever or what is blocking your breakthrough. God is going to give it to you individually. And God is saying there's going to be a boldness. The boldness, the supernatural strength gave Esther a boldness. She put her robes on and she got before the king. She didn't back down and got favor with the king and got breakthrough which she prepared to. Two, two dinners for the king. And God is saying, you don't need nobody's permission to get breakthrough from God. Uh -huh. When God gave me this word, I just couldn't believe it. And Bible lets us know that the um, verse Esther replied, the wicked Haman is our adversary and our enemy. Haman grew pale with fret before the king and queen. Then the king jumped to his feet in rage and went outside to the palace garden. Haman, however, stayed behind to plead with his life for Queen Esther. And God began to deal with me. He said, some people, they're not sorry. They're just sorry because they got caught. And that's yeah. one of the things we begin to teach the children. Don't tell me that you're sorry because you got caught. I'm sorry. Because sorry means don't do it again. And some people are not sorry. And God is saying we have to get to a place where we walk in boldness. For some, your breakthrough may be something that's going to be done in the public. For some, it may be ministry, it may be business. I don't know what your breakthrough is. But God is saying it's time we have to come to a place. We've been crying and we've been silent. But God is saying for some of you, you have to confront some witches. <laughs> you have to confront some warlocks. You have to confront some family members. And you got to let yeah. them know what you're doing acting like an enemy and we may not want to do it but at this point we have nothing to lose because people lives is on the line if we don't say what God is saying and God is saying tonight we must be mindful and begin to operate the way Esther did. Esther had to call that wicked spirit out now because she didn't expose it remember the woman, the, maid, the, the, the caretakers was taking care of her with the oils and so forth but there comes a time that God says shut your mouth. He says stop crying and then it comes a time that he give you this favor. He give you that supernatural strength. See, she was able to check Haman in front of the king because the supernatural strength of God was upon her. The power of God was so influential that the king melted when he seen her. I believe because Esther had that three-day fast. She didn't have Mac on. She didn't have the ear on. You ever fasted and when you wake up, your complexion is a little bit lighter. You ever get into a fast and you be like, oh my God, I got a shade lighter. I, and I'm not bragging. I remember a couple of times I was fasting and I go get makeup. It didn't matter because my face got a little bit lighter because when you get in the presence of God the glory falls upon you you become so attractive 
captive. I believe that the king seen the glory on Esther. He said, hold up, wait a minute. I know it's against the law for her to come before me, but I seen glory and I want to, I want to, I want to be connected to this glory. I, yeah, I'm the king, but I seen power. The Bible said, he that find a wife, find favor. The king looked at Esther. He said, there goes my favor. He said, here comes the cream for my coffee, says the spirit of God. The king said, wait a minute, hold up. And God is saying, when you do this fast, I'm going to release a glory upon you that's going to be attractive. This is a season I'm telling you, men, I mean, women of God. <coughs> This is a season that God is releasing unprecedented favor. There's glory. I'm telling you, everywhere I go, there is favor. And I ask God that the glory in, 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 in one of the scriptures said, may his countenance shine upon you. I prophesy tonight that the glory of God will fall upon you, that there will be a light, a shining light of God, the glory of God that will be a magnet. That when you walk in a building, favor show up. When you get to your car, favor shows up because you're going to break rules and policies. You're going to go in this building. And and say, listen, God sent me here for this child. People are going to say, you're crazy. And they're going to say, because you walked up in here so bold, I might as well give it to you. I don't have a degree, but they're going to give you the position. I'm speaking prophetically tonight. Some of you, you're going to walk after you do that three-day fast. Your husband, God will just tell the man of God, this is your wife. You've been worried for some time. Some of you, you've been warned for some people. In these three days, they're going to wake up and say, you know what? Enough is enough. I've seen the light of God. I don't know what your secret cry is tonight, but I come to tell you with the power in the authority that when you do this three day fast I started today God is going to do something big the light of God is going to make you outstanding and attractive I speak to every queen on this periscope I'm not going to prophesy personally but I'm speaking prophetically and if you receive it say amen I prophesy that the light of God will shine upon every queen and even those that would watch the replay and God said even though um, some people didn't get on they're going to watch the replay but God said this was for a special remnant. He said, I'm releasing my glory on my queens and the magnet of favor is upon you. I hear God saying the magnet of favor. And yea, in this hour, I begin to release the oil of joy. I begin to give you beauty for your ashes. And God said, as this hour, as my glory begins to come down, I'm going to make you outstanding. God said, after you get of this scope, do not be surprised because you're going to be bombarded with favor because the oil of the Lord is going to shine. And I hear God say, for some people, don't want you wearing makeup in this season. I don't know why but the glory is getting ready to hit your face on your cheeks and it's going to shine i'm telling you i see the glory on faces iman so today the lord told me don't put no makeup on he said it's only for three you on the scope he said i'm dealing with insecurity i'm dealing with you on the inside and i'm making you whole rabasha and i begin to put the makeup on but god said the donna don't wear no makeup because in these days where you go they're going to see the glory on your cheeks because sometimes you put the makeup and it begins to cover it and i'm not saying don't wear makeup but i'm talking about when you're doing your three-day fast but it's three people god said you're going to come back and say somebody begin to say my cheeks was shining because god said i'm putting a glory just as esther was attractive god said i'm going to make Make you extremely attractive and not just attractive but outstanding. I lose you, daughters, from fear and insecurity. By the power of the living God, be loose tonight. In the name of Jesus. Be loose tonight. Be loose from anger tonight. Be loose from frustration tonight. Be loose from insecurity tonight. Be loose from comparison tonight. Be the queen that God has called you to be in your color, in your size, in your shape, in your body, and in your hair. In your height, in your shape. I don't care if you feel overweight, love yourself. I don't care if you feel short, love yourself. I don't care if you're here falling out, love yourself. I don't care if you got fake teeth, love yourself. I don't care what you're going through tonight. But God said, a queen is a queen. It's not based on what you have. I made you a queen when I put you in your mother's womb. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. And I hear God said, I'm restoring personal matters. You're going to see manifestation. You're going to see manifestation. Because I asked the Lord, Lord, when I speak as of Thursday night on that periscope, I said, God, when you use me in this dispensation right now, and the women of God and the men of God, I ask that there would be manifestation. I said, people have been hearing word after word after word. And I said, God, before the manifestation, prick our hearts to get in line. Show us what it is we're not doing. The Bible lets us know that Esther did not complain. And the Bible lets us know the gallows that he 
scream and hang for Mordecai. He died on it 75 feet, you know, and God is saying tonight what the actually has set out for you. Don't you waste no more time crying and talking and giving life what the enemy did. Take your time and be right wise. If, if you've been hurt, write a book. If you've been wounded, write a play. I don't know what you've been through. Write a movie. Do three series. Do something. Write a book. Do a song. Do something. Make lemonades or something. Do something with yourself. Don't you give the pain life no more because Bible lets us know that Esther didn't give it pain. If you can sow, sow. If you can draw, draw. If you're creative, do what you have to do. If you can sing, sing. If you can dance, dance. God is saying Esther did not waste no time. It took Esther three days for manifestation. Esther did not complain. She didn't call her girlfriends. She didn't cry. She prayed and she fasted. I said, God, buy my mouth and bind your daughter's mouth in this season. We refuse and we repent tonight for complaining in the name of Jesus. God, we're going to bind our mouth and we're going to do what Esther did. She did three days of praying and fasting. Everybody fasting style is not going to be the same because we have to be wise and be led by the spirit of God. But I pray that God will zip up our lips as queens on this scope. We will not complain. We will support every woman of God. We don't have to be close, but we're going to pray and we're going to support. And I believe the word of the Lord tonight for myself and every queen and those of you that desire to be married. God said, I will do this thing. And I see brides on this periscope. I see seven prize within the next 12 months and God said woman of God you begin to midwife so many people and at this time I just bless God and 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 and, and God is just doing something big God is doing something big God is doing something big God is doing something big and this is all that the Lord gave me I'm waiting to see if there's anybody that he would have me to prophesy I didn't have any prophetic words but I was just being obedient it was one lady, I think I seen some one that says Monica, but I can't see who was on there, but um, prophetess or minister. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying prophetess Monica or minister Monica. I hear the spirit of the Lord said, this is the hour I'm opening new doors for you. I can't see who's on the scope. You know, this is the hour I'm opening new doors and new connections and I'm getting ready to take your name out there. I'm going to make your name great. I'm going to make your name great, says the spirit of God. He said new connections and I'm doing something mighty in your life, but I see seven brides in the next 12 months I see I hear I see and I hear seven brides God said there will be seven weddings and you will come back and if you're one of them put that one up on the screen because I see seven brides I heard the Lord seven brides and I know I'm one of them seven Monica prophetess Monica God said he's going to bless you he's opening new doors and woman of God I have to connect with you I know I've been busy but God said he's opening up new doors for you new connection and you're going to be a great influence and God said you have been overlooked but God said this is the hour I'm making your name great and God said you are going to be a great example I put a prophetic word in your mouth and I've called you to be a prolific speaker and God said I begin to speak to you like I spoke to Moses and God said when you prophesy people are going to say oh my God this woman of God spoke and my life changed prophetess Monica and God said yes there's a work that you and I would do he said this is the hour I'm going to make your name great and God said you're not a hater you're not a jealous one you're genuine and you're kind and God said your face is going to be on books and magazines and I don't know what you've been through but I hear the Lord say you have survived you are a survivor he said you are a radical one you are a blazing one and God said there is fire in your mouth he said like like Jeremiah it's in your bones but I will speak to you the way I speak to Moses. God said, that's how I'm going to deal with you. And when I speak to you, your hands and your feet and your body is going to be on fire. He said, I have anointed you with a special fire. Hallelujah. You have made it and you have crossed over and you're going to be well known. God is going to use you mightily. God said, watch me do it. You're on the rise. You're getting ready to take off. You're getting ready to go up. It's like, you know, when they pull the thing back and then you skyrock in the ear. That's what it's like. Uh, oh God, what is it called? And, and, and you go all the way up. That's what God is getting ready to do. He's getting ready to do it. God said, and you have put in the work. You have been faithful. And God said, you have been overlooked. He said, the daughters on this periscope, we all been through some 
major rejection. But God said, I did not forget about my daughter. I hear the Lord said this was a special and private scope, even though it's to the public. But when I say private, God said it was for the hearts. And God said, woman of God, well done. He is pleased. Catch a pole. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Lady Shea, you're one of the brides. Get ready because God is going to use you first, lady. Get ready. Get ready, says the Spirit of God. Get ready. And woman of God, as I hand it over, I, the Spirit of the Lord is leading me to ask you to pray for those that, the seven, I don't know if they put it up there, the seven that desire or you know God told you you're going to get married. I know it's seven people. It might be more. God is asking for you to pray and you can take over what the Lord gives you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings. Blessings. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Father, we just thank you, Lord God, right now for those that put up the one, Lord God, that is believing you, that is ready to receive, Lord God, the man of God. Hallelujah. Their bow ass, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh God, they're kings. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that on tonight, as the word of God came forth, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that we are coming out of alignment with those things, oh God, that you, the woman of God spoke about tonight, God, so that we can get in position, oh God. We even thank you, Lord God, for the season of preparation, even as you um, had Esther go through preparation, God. We thank you that you're taking them through preparation, God, in the name of Jesus, that they're preparing for their uh, their men, uh, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that they're coming out of alignment, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, with anger, Lord God, with um, uh, bad mouth, Lord God, with bad attitudes, Lord God, anything that is not pleasing us, to you, God, that they will be women, modest women, Proverbs 31 women, that, that, that men of God will receive the favor of God off of their lives, oh God, as they receive them in Jesus' name. So, Father, we thank you that it's happening right now, God. Their manifestation is coming right now, God. We thank you, Father God, for opening up the men of God's eyes, oh God, to see them now, God, in Jesus' name. So, God, we thank you, Lord God, for the manifestation of it now in Jesus' name, that he finds them, oh God. He finds them, oh God. He finds them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So God, we just give you glory, give you honor and praise. We thank you that they should come back and testify of what you done, oh God, in Jesus' name. So Lord, we even thank you. And I just even hear it that um, the, the man, he's going to pursue you. He's going to pursue you. You don't have to pursue him. He's going to pursue you. He's going to pursue you. So just be still and wait on God because it, the manifestation is taking place now. But let him pursue you. Let him woo you in the name of Jesus. So God, we thank you now in Jesus name. Hallelujah. And Father, we thank you for the woman of God. We thank you for all that she's poured out on tonight, God. We thank you for filling her up, Lord God where she's emptied out out of obedience to you, God. We thank you, Father God, for everyone that received on tonight, God. We thank you, Lord God. We received your word from the woman of God, and we just honor you, and we thank you for what you've done. We thank you for those that are coming on the replay, Lord God, to receive what you have for them, God, in Jesus' name. So we receive your word on tonight. We receive what you spoke unto us tonight, and we thank you, Father God, for her obedience, God, in Jesus' name. We thank you for... um just perfecting everything that concerns the woman of God. And we thank you for just increase, more increase in the woman of God's life in Jesus' name on every side, God, every side, God, in Jesus' name. So we give you all glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 Blessings, blessings. Did you have anything else, Prophetess, or are you done? Thank you, Lord. Um, is there any personal requests? Um, I always like to ask if there's any yeah. prayer requests. I never, you know, want to leave out without asking. And um, yeah. one of the things, yes, God, and one of the things we never do, we never um we never prophesy for money or anything. But woman of God, I would like for you to put up your ministry name and your cash up because this woman of God has a ministry. We don't prophesy for money. We operate integrity, but this woman has launched out her ministry and you want to be a financial blessing, you know, so she can put up her cash up because this is a ministry. This is not, we don't prophesy for money, but just be a blessing, you know, she's launched out a ministry and with ministry, you need money, you know, for the prayer line. I, I put up the information because we give away prayer so we give up well, we pray for people and three money you know it's, it's not about prophesying a word because we don't do that and i want to make that distinction plain but when you have a ministry you be a financial blessing because there's women of god and people that she's going to bless so if the lord is laying it on your heart to be a financial blessing you know whatever you have you know um just to be a 
blessing because I, I trust the God in this woman of God. Even if God has your heart to be a financial blessing because we're doing things for others and build up the kingdom. The kingdom yeah. is money. It's not for us because God takes care of us. But when it's a yeah. ministry, if you want a financial blessing, that ministry because the gospel is free but you need money to spread it you know far as making cds and sharing these things and so many different things you know spreading the gospel is going to cost but the gospel is for free but to spread it so if you have it just be a blessing because oftentimes we go out to the restaurant you eat food it's not that good and you tip them a good tip you know so we always want to be a blessing towards the body of Christ and the, the, the gospel being spread is wildfire. One of the things that I'm going to repeat, we don't prophesy for money, but the gospel, we want the messages to get across. And, and sometimes it's not going to just get across through social media, you know, just being a blessing. And I, I just see this woman of God helping so many young ladies to the next phase, women that have been abused and abandoned and so forth. And we want to put our money in places. I see you ministering to battered women with children and stuff. And so many people even call me with issues and God allow money to come through that I could be a blessing. You need money to spread the gospel. You need money to help people. And one of the things people can be very cheap when it comes to the things of God. We're not saying sow this seed and you're going to get this. That's not our motive. And it's a shame because those that's really walking upright, sometimes the enemy try to interrupt it, but God is in control. So he will always provide. But I want to let you know, it is important to be a blessing. So many people on here have ministries and we want to give back we want to do things so you need money to spread the gospel one of the things god said adana you need money he, he rebuked me he said stop being prideful when people give you a financial blessings take it because you need money to do things in order for the gospel when you travel you go different places to minister you need money so i had to repent because people would try to give me stuff and i would say it's okay but then people would call me in need and god said this is why i had them give you that money because i want you to help somebody sometimes you go to the market you you have to pay for somebody grocery. You have to pay for gas. We don't know what God is calling for us to do. So I just challenge you, if you have it, if, if God is leading you to be a blessing, this is a good ministry. And this woman of God has launched on a ministry. Some of you are going to write books and we're going to support. I know Pastor Leah, all, all of these different first ladies and ministers, they're on the scope tonight. So I just bless every woman of God. And if you have any prayer requests, I'll pray for you before we close out. Amen. And um, I'm sorry, I, for whatever reason, uh, I guess it's not coming up, but um, I did put the, I'll just say it out and I'll try it again. But it's, uh, it, it's done through PayPal because it is a ministry and we, we give given statements. So we have to be able to track because we walk in integrity, but it is tdotd19 at gmail.com through PayPal. Um, so we don't do the cash out, but we do through the PayPal. So it's tdotd19 at gmail.com. And you can do that through PayPal, um, anyone who feels led. And thank you so much. Um, so if you would like prayer, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so if you would like prayer, the woman of God said that um, she will go ahead and pray. So um, if you could just type me, um, is that okay, Prophetess Adana? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, you all. You guys are beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm learning this Periscope stuff. But um, if you would like prayer, uh, okay, once uh, Sophisticated Lady 90 is saying pray, uh, she would like prayer for her children. Okay, Father, we just lift up this woman of God, her children right now, God. We don't know what the situation is, but God, you are the knower of all things, Lord Jesus. And Father, we just plead the blood of Jesus over her children. Father, we thank you that no weapon formed against them will prosper. And Father, I just I, I, I don't know, but I just hear God said, I'm going to give them direction. I'm going to give them direction. And it's like, I see foot being turned around, turn around. I don't know what it is, but I hear God say, turn around, turn around. So father, we just thank you for the sudden turnaround. We thank you, God, for the manifestations. Oh God, your daughters have been crying out, but today we decided not to cry. We decided to pray and fast like Esther. We decided to take actions a different way. We decided to do the rules, the spiritual rules of engagement. We decided to do things different tonight, Oh God. So Father, we just bless you for her children. We thank you for the sudden turnaround and not just her children, but every child that's represented and even those that have problems.
prodigal sons and daughters. We thank you, God, for the turnaround, even those that's in wrong religion. We thank you, God, for drawing them in right relationship. We thank you, God, for interrupting the interrupter. Oh, Father, we lift up every child and every child connected that may not even be their children. Oh, Father, we lift up the children throughout the nation. We don't want to leave nobody, oh God. We thank you tonight that your will going to be done. We thank you for intercepting the work of darkness. We thank you that prayer works and we plead the blood of Jesus. Oh God, and you would speak to every child that they would say, I heard God for myself and he told me to do what's right. We thank you just like you call Esther Hadassah. You called her name out, oh God. You're going to call sons and daughters. You're going to call them by a name that they would hear you because God, you can reach them better than a parent. That parents are just stewards over the children. So, Father, into your hand, we commit every boy, every girl, every grown child. We thank you, God, that they will not crash. They will not die prematurely, but they will live to declare the word of the Lord. Joshua said, as for me and my house, whether they live in the house or not, once they came out of the womb of these women of God, that they are saved. So we bless them and we cover them on every side in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Is there another um, prayer request? Yeah. Yes. And um, there was one that uh, says prayer request for at um, S-A-K-I-Y-A Blakely. So I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. I pray for that family in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Father, yeah. we thank you for covering them right now in the blood, God. Yeah. We lift up families right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We thank you for family that prays together, stays together. Father, you know yeah. what this family stand in need of. You know where there needs to be a shift and a change, yeah. oh God. <laughs> I lift them up right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I lift up every family member in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We pray a special prayer, God. And as Esther fast for her Jewish people, we are praying and fasting for our family. They're going to be saved, set free, and delivered. They're going to be healed, oh God. They're going to be wrapped in the arms of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the chism in the middle, God. In the name of Jesus, and we thank you for holy fire. We thank you that the enemy can only come but so far because you have a hedge of protection and you have holy fire. We thank you for the angels deployed in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray for someone's business. I pray for this woman of God business tonight, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you give a witty invention. I pray, God, that you would be the teacher of the business, that you would give her wisdom. And I don't know what business you have, but I hear God say, make new cards. I don't know. And he's going to give you a, a, a something for some cards, some cards. I don't know what it is, but God, I thank you for the business and the cards. God said, it's like something he want to put, it's like to change some stuff up. We thank you for favor in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the business. God, let it excel. Let it be successful. Oh God, let her have favor on top of favor in in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we bless you for businesses tonight, oh God. You said this is the month you we begin to see business prosper because God, our intentions and our motive is to please you. It's to help the widow. It's to help the poor. It's to help the sick. It's to help those in prison. Oh God, when you bless us, it's to bless your people and so we can be comfortable. We thank you for right motives and I lift up every business on the Periscope tonight. I said be successful. I thank you, Lord, for unprecedented favor. I thank you, Lord, that the favor of God is going to make those businesses outstanding. Oh God, those businesses are going to be like how gum begin to be a top seller in the nations. Oh God, let the business begin to be so successful. We thank you, Lord, that you would put a pop on it, Lord Jesus. And business that's struggling, oh God, it will be very successful. We thank you, God, that you're making ways out of no ways, God. You're taking those that's struggling or from the back and you're bringing them up, God. We know Tasty Cake, that business been in business for a long time. Oh God, businesses be as successful as Tasty Cake in the name of Jesus. Oh God, they never came out of business. As long as I've known Tasty Cake and I like them, they're very successful. Chick-fil-A is very successful. We thank you that the businesses that your men and women of God is having right now, they're going to be just as successful. And Chick-fil-A, they said, is a Christian owner. I speak that same grace in the name of Jesus that you would give them wisdom how to do the card, how to do everything for the business. You would give them a puzzle and connect every piece over God, that it will be successful in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, is there another one? Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Liz, uh, Liz Ann is asking prayer for God to protect her and move to a safe place uh, in, 
and prayer for her situation. Oh, safety. Oh, Father. And then Marquis. Okay. Father, we pray for this woman. Oh, God. We pray for safety, God. You said, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And Father, when somebody's asking for safety, sometimes fear kicks in and we're just being real, God. Father, deliver the woman and deliver us from the spirit of fear, oh, God. The false evidence that's appearing real, oh, God. The thoughts that come to torment the people, oh, God, and the woman of God. We torment the tormentor. Father, I thank you for making ways out of no ways. I thank you for moving quickly on her behalf in the name of Jesus. Father, you know the situation, oh God, but it's nothing too hard for God. You said if we ask for bread, you wouldn't give stones. So Father, she's asking for a place and she's asking for safety. So Father, I thank you for safety tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I lift up Marquia, oh God. I thank you for setting her on fire, oh God. I thank you for killing the flesh tonight, oh God, that it would die in the name of Jesus. You said something has to die for something to live. We thank you for anointed Marquis afresh, oh God. You have called her to be a prophet to the nations, a prophet unto the nations. So Father, we lift up Marquis tonight, oh God. You said what we ask in the open, you would grant us in secret. Oh God, when she get up the scope, you begin to lit her on fire. We thank you for the transfer of the anointings, oh God. We thank you for fire in our hands, oh God. Fire in our feet on the inside. We know it's already there, but we thank you, God, for just lighting it, oh God. Like when somebody light a matches to light the stove. I thank you tonight. You're lighting her on fire in the name of Jesus. We bind every spirit that will try to interrupt it. We thank you, God, that there's fire over her mind, oh God. Oh God, a hedge of protection in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, we just thank you tonight. Anoint Marquia afresh, oh God. There's a work that you have to do for her. You're calling her to the nations. You're calling her to bring correction. You're calling her as a no-nonsense, God. Oh God, you know the things that she need help with, oh God. You are the helper of all help in the name of Jesus. And God, I pray that you would grant the people what they stand in need of. Oh God, as Esther asked the, the king Acts Esther and we're asking you the king of kings so God every request and I hear the Lord say for some of you as you write your request just for those of you I'm sorry those not some those of you as you write your, write your request God said tonight is the night I'm going to honor every request that's in my will he said don't be afraid or don't be bashful to write it up whatever you know that you want from God he said if you write it up I'm going to honor it I heard God so clear before I bring this message he said I'm going to honor it. He said, don't be bashful. Don't be shy. Because remember, Esther said what she wanted to the king. Anything that you want in God's will, he's going to honor it. I heard the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Healing on the right legs. Complete healing, God. We thank you for the husband. We thank you for healing. We thank you, God. Constant state of forgiveness. We thank you for the heart of God. And God said to for the constant forgiveness, he said, it's a heart issue. And I begin to deal with your heart and I'll give you a new heart. And the heart of God always want to love, always want to forgive. It's not easy. But God said, I'll give you a new heart in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. For this person, husband, in the name of Jesus. Oh, for saving the children, oh, God. In Increase healing and marriage, wholeness and marriage. In the name of Jesus, marriage, death and freedom. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, God. Student loans, God. You said debt cancellation. In the name of Jesus, you said tonight is a night. Oh, God, that you would honor your daughter's request. And you're going to prove yourself because they're going to come back and say, God did it. Just like you allowed the king to honor Esther's request. I thank you, Lord, for honoring the request tonight. Tooth and head pain be healed in the name of Jesus. Car working in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Healing, fearlessness, boldness, humility. Finish the devotions. And God said you would do it quickly in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Student loan forgiveness. Oh, God, you know those that have loans. Oh, God, we thank you for new careers in the name of Jesus. Do a proposal and place proposed and placement in the name of Jesus. Restore this woman of God here from alopecia. Oh God, I ask that you would blow on her scalp in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the hair coming back in the name of Jesus. You can do it, God. Only you can. New car and home, healing and income in the name of Jesus. You can do it. Shata. Clarity and focus. I bind your mind. Prophetess anointed. I don't know. Char Martin. God said you are anointed. Shar Martin. God said you are anointed and there is another book that you must write. 
And God said, you are anointed. And God said, I'm going to do something mighty for you. You've been faithful. And God said, I'm healing your heart from disappointment and personal matters. But God said, I'm going to do something mighty for you. God said, you are a general. He said, you are a general and you have a sweetheart. And God said, I'm going to use you mightily, mightily. I don't know you. God is going to do something mighty for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The book, the ministry, marriage, debt cancellation and get the fire back. We thank you, God, prophetess, you female, you're going to grant it. You're doing this thing now, oh God. Renew my prophetic dreams in the name of Jesus. Harvest in the name of Jesus. And, and Sean Martin, I hear the Lord said, Isaiah 43 and 19. God is going to do some major things, but it's two things God is going to grant you quickly. I don't know what they are, but God said it's two things I'm going to, I'm going to honor it because you are a good woman of God. He said you have a pure heart and a kindred spirit. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, God. Credit score, God. And God, you would tell the people what to do. You would give them supernatural strength, strategy, favor for the breakthrough, orphanage, books, and completion in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you, God. I don't want to miss it being obedient to God's word. We thank you, God, that no one would miss it because, God, if you have to wake us up in the middle of the night, whatever you have to do, God, we're going to do it. Oh, God, help my sister to focus. God, none of us want to miss it. Oh, God, we have missed it before, but God, we ask that you would show us ourselves and what we need to do and how we need to do it because, God, you gave Esther the instructions, oh, God. And just as you spoke to Esther, you're going to speak. Yes, God, heal the cough. I'm receiving that right now. Thank you, Jesus. Even articulation of words for me. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Oh, healing for Father and in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that tonight you're going to honor it. You said, make your request be known in the name of Jesus. Deliverance for every family and your family in the name of Jesus. And I just bless God. And that's it. I'm going to stop right here. I just bless God for everyone. Thank you for having me tonight. And Father, we just give you the glory. And woman of God, prepare to receive. Prepare, have a spirit of expectation. Not just only you, but I had to honor you first and those on the scope. God said this was not a simple word. This, 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 this is not a simple word. This is not a simple word. God is saying we had some requests. We was praying. We were fasting and crying. But God is going to allow it to manifest. Do not take this word easy tonight. I heard the Lord. He prepped me for this word and God is going to show up. I don't care what the devil say. If we're focused on God and we bind our emotions to the word of God, we can't hear the devil. So I just bless each and every one of you. Thank you for having me. We give God all the glory and I'm excited about everyone's breakthrough. Have a spirit of expectation. God is moving even right now. God bless everyone and good night. God bless you. Thank you so much, woman of God. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much for tuning in and joining with us and inviting your followers. Really appreciate it. Thank you all on the replay. We just thank you, Father God, for just continuing to fill the woman of God, even as she's emptied out, Lord God. Thank you for covering her and keeping her, Lord God. Thank you, Father God, for just even everyone that came on tonight, Father God. We just thank you for continuing to bless them and keep them, God. We just thank you for all that you've done on tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And you can just join us every Friday. Friday. Um, this was the launch. I thank Prophetess Adana for launching us out on tonight. Um, the ministry out, Daughters Talk out. And um, join us next week on the 14th at 10 p.m. Same place, same time. We have Prophetess Monica Floyd. She will be here to um, bring what the Lord will have for her to bring. So daughters, let's talk about it. Men, if you've come on, share with your wives, your sisters, your mothers, your nieces, whatever the Lord um, is leading to, just come on and receive from the Lord. So we love you all and thank you so much. If you have time, daughters, you can come and uh, follow our page, like our page, the Day of the Daughters page. We just launched it here at the beginning of August. We would love to see you all and thank you all so much. We love you. God bless you. If you have anything, uh, we did post uh, Prophetess Adonis cash app um, information because someone did ask for it, Prophetess Adonis, so I pray that that was okay. Yes. Um, okay, so someone else posted it and myself, so um, thank you all for sewing into the woman of God and for just everything that God uh, gave to us through 
his um voice through his vessel on tonight so we thank you god bless you and we love you all love you prophet Sadana, and thank you so so much thank you and i'll be talking to you all right yes love you guys god bless thank you bye-bye good night everyone <laughs>